This video answers the question, what is a solar sludge dryer? Solar sludge dryers consist of three elements, a greenhouse, a ventilation system, and a turning mechanism. Here are some example greenhouses. As you can see, they just look like a greenhouse at the wastewater treatment plant. The ventilation system consists of fans and louvers. Fans can be directed down or directed across the sludge. Here are some fans that are directed down onto the sludge. And here are some that blow across the sludge. Louvers. Louvers are openings in the greenhouse that open periodically to let the humid air out. Some louvers run the entire length of the greenhouse, like this one. And some only ventilate a portion of the greenhouse. Greenhouses can be ventilated in one of two ways, either front to back, as in this example. This is the back. Or from side to side, as this example shows. The dry air enters from the bottom on the side, blows across the sludge, and after it's picked up its moisture, it exits through the louver. Now to turning mechanisms. We'll show two kinds. The first is what I call a scooper flipper. It's the entire width of the drying hull, drives forward and as it does, scoops up the sludge and flips it backwards. Turning is very important in a solar sludge dryer as new surface area needs to be constantly exposed to the drier air to get uniform drying. The turning mechanism also helps to break up the product into a smaller and very consistent product. Next will be another scooper flipper operating in a deeper sludge bed. The next one I call the tiller, and that's because it sort of looks like a hoe or a tiller in your garden. It consists of a drum that runs the width of the drying hall, and around the circumference are some rakes or tillers. As the drum spins and drives forward, the tillers till the sludge and flip it backwards. Sometimes there's rakes. Sometimes there's bars, sometimes there's rakes and bars. These units can be run at different speeds, as you can see here. This particular unit is a bar rake rake. And it's driving through quite a deep pile. handling it quite well. And now we'll look at the final product. First from the scooper flipper. As you can see this product is quite fine. It looks a lot like kitty litter or crushed coal. Now for the tiller. Looks pretty similar. Just a little more chunky. Mm, 
there you have it, the solar sludge dryer.